Hello everyone, this is Chocolate here, and today I'm going to be presenting to you my top 5 Rat Pack references in Fallout New Vegas. The Rat Pack was a famous friend group in the 1960s comprised of legendary singers and performers Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr., as well as Peter Lawford and Joey Bishop. They performed together and made movies together, and there are many references to these amazing folks in the Fallout verse, but the most notable ones are found in New Vegas. Up at number 5, I've chosen the quest names. Many of the quests in Fallout New Vegas are actually titles of songs, many of which were popularized by Rat Pack members. We have Ain't That a Kick in the Head and Valari, both recorded by Dean Martin. Ain't That a Kick in the Head was also featured in the Rat Pack film Ocean's Eleven, and can often be heard while walking down the New Vegas Strip. Then we have Come Fly With Me, I Can Make You Care, One For My Baby, Ring-A-Ding-Ding, Don't Make a Beggar Out of Me, my Kind of Town, and You'll Know It When It Happens, all recorded and popularized by Frank Sinatra. The song Blue Moon was also used for the launch trailer in New Vegas, as well as being featured in the opening cutscene of the game. 4. You're Nobody Till Somebody Loves You You're Nobody Till Somebody Loves You was a song recorded by Dean Martin for Capitol Records in 1960 and was popularized by him. It's even included on the album compilation, The Essential Dean Martin. In one of many musings laid on the Mojave by Mr. New Vegas, he says, It's me again, Mr. New Vegas, reminding you that you're nobody till somebody loves you, and that somebody's me. I love you. A small reference, but a harder one to catch unless you're very familiar with Martin's body of work. 3. Dean Domino Definitely one of my favorite Fallout characters ever. Dean Domino is a combination and homage to both Fats Domino and Dean Martin. Dean's hologram also sings Something's Gotta Give, recorded by Bing Crosby, a singer whom Dean Martin idolized, who was even in another Rat Pack film, Robin and the Seven Hoods. Dean is also a heavy smoker and drinker, a specialty being his Sierra Madre Martini, both of which Dean Martin were known for. Not the martini, obviously, but like, he was known to be a very heavy smoker and drinker. You always have to go. I always drink. You know. <laughs> Two, the Rad Pack. The Rad Pack review is top of the bill at the Tops Casino. An obvious nod to the Rat Pack, the Rad Pack was created and led by Tommy Torini. Tommy is a talented gentleman who wears an eye patch. He sings, dances, and jokes with the rest of the Rad Pack members when they perform on stage in the Aces Theater. Tommy is an homage to Sammy Davis Jr., the only African American member of the Rat Pack. In 1954, Davis got into a near-fatal car accident and lost his left eye. He wore an eye patch for six months afterwards until getting fitted with a glass eye. Tommy also wears an eye patch. And for number one, I have chosen Make Yourself at Home. And now we come to Don Rickles. The insult comedian Hadrian can also be found in the Topps Casino after the courier completes the quest Talent Pool. One of Hadrian's insults is targeted at Swank, the right-hand man of Benny. He says, make yourself at home, Swank. Hit somebody. This is a reference to the comedian Don Rickles roasting Frank Sinatra. While not many folks could get away with ribbing Sinatra, the comedian and the singer had an excellent rapport, and while not officially part of the Rat Pack, Rickles has said that he felt very at home with them. Rickles was also famously featured on Dean Martin's Celebrity Roast, where he ruthlessly roasted Ronald Reagan. That is an amazing tongue twister! Oh my god, everyone say it with me, okay? Three, two, one. Where he ruthlessly roasted Ronald Reagan. If you're thinking I made this list just in, as an excuse to gush about the Rat Pack and flex my knowledge about them on all of you, you'd be absolutely correct. Nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed my list, and remember to like and subscribe. Also, if you would like, please consider joining my Patreon. Only $5 a month gets you the tier of my companion, and I'll post updates, outtakes, clips of me playing video games, and much more. Bye! Do you believe in kissing, honey? Mm, you bet I do. Well, I believe in kissing, honey, when the moon is new. So as many of you know, I am a citizen of the USA, and currently our country is suffering from a crisis at the border. Immigrants seeking asylum in the US are being detained. Families are being separated and kept in detention centers in horrible conditions. All of it is scary and horrible, and a bit hard to come to terms with. 
So until things start getting better, I'm placing this message at the end of all of my videos to try to use what little influence I have to bring awareness and help. There are a number of things you can do to help. One of the simplest things is to donate to immigrant families together, who are fundraising money to pay the bonds of detained immigrants and also provide necessities to families, such as hygiene products, food, and shelter. This organization is also looking for volunteers. You can also take direct action by calling your state's government's officials and try to make your voice heard, and also refuse to let your taxes go to fund these facilities. There are many groups online that are looking for help to make sure these people are treated like human beings and receiving the help they desperately need. Let's prove that there is still hope for humanity and help solve this crisis in the most humane way possible. Remember, showing kindness isn't political. It's just the right thing to do. Thank you.